as we said earlier, with dihydroxylation, we can do this in both syn and anti fashion. We kind of already looked at anti fashion here, but now we're also going to look at the syn dihydroxylation. And it turns out there's a couple of different ways to do this, and you don't have to know the mechanism, but you should kind of be aware of what the intermediate looks like, and that really helps you predict why it's a syn addition here. So, but it turns out with osmium tetroxide, and then either sodium thiosulfate, or technically just sodium, I'm sorry, sodium thiosulfite, or sodium sulfite, uh, for the second step here, you can accomplish this process. But osmium tetroxide forms what's called a cyclic osmate ester. So in two of the oxygens attached to the osmiums are where the ultimate OHs are going to come from. And since we're attaching to the same molecule at the same time from the same side, that's why it's a syn addition. So we can see here that eventually we're just going to form an OH there and an OH there. So again, you don't have to necessarily know the entire mechanism here. Uh, just wanted to show the intermediate. That's why you can see how it ends up as a syn addition. So in this case, if you take a gander here, we did form a couple of chiral centers. And when you form two chiral centers, your stereospecificity matters. And this is definitely your syn addition. So, but one thing to note, this is a meso compound. And when you form a meso compound, you're always gonna get one less product than you think. And so in this case, with two chiral centers formed and it being just syn addition, we'd expect two syn addition products. But with this being a meso compound, so I might be tempted to draw what I think is the enantiomer, but meso compounds being achiral don't have enantiomers. This is just the same thing rotated 180 degrees. If you draw two products here, you're gonna lose some points. There's just one product. And whether you draw that with both wedges to the OHs or both dashes, it's the same thing either way, but you should only draw one and not both. Second way to carry out syn dihydroxylation is pretty much analogous to the first. Instead of using osmium tetroxide, we're going to use potassium permanganate. You'll often see it specified as being cold and dilute. And the reason we do that is because if it's hot and concentrated, you actually get a different reaction, as we'll see towards the end of this chapter. But cold and dilute under basic conditions here. And instead of a cyclic osmate ester, we're going to get a cyclic manganate ester. But everything else is analogous here. You don't need to know the mechanism again. So just showing it so we can explain why it's a syn addition here. So but that's why your hydroxyl groups both end up adding to the same face. That's why it's a syn addition. And as we pointed out in the last example, same one here. So this is a meso compound. So rather than the normal two products, you're gonna get one achiral product, one meso compound, as is the case here.